Hey everybody. Howdy. Hey right, I'll slide in here. There we go. Very good. Welcome to my home. I'm Dr. Mark Catella, and these are my students. And today we're going to talk about flashbulb memories. And a flashbulb memory, I may be able to see what that is first. It usually has some emotional content to it. And so it's uh, some, because we don't remember very much from our daily lives. But sometimes something special happens, and we remember that. And I thought we'd also maybe talk about earliest memories if people don't have a flashbulb memory that they would like to share. But how about if we all introduce ourselves? I already said I'm Mark Catella. Howdy. I'm Zach. I'm Maddie. I'm Will. Oh, I'm Annie. Hi, I'm Ashley. Outstanding. Very good. Well, uh, who would like to get started? Actually, I, I think I'd like to start on this Please, one. Please, go ahead. So, uh, I had to think about this, like, hard, because I, I feel like I remember a lot of things, um, like, specific memories, and I could have gone with kind of a cop. I was thinking about maybe, like, the 2011 World Series. I knew I, it was going to be sports No, no, related. it's actually I not. Knew it. No, it's actually not going to be. It's actually <laughs> okay. more movie-related. Okay. It was uh, <laughs> the day uh, Robin Williams died, actually, was I remember that very vividly I was coming home from school and he had just it had just come out I think a few weeks before that he went back into rehab for drugs mm. and I remember at the time I don't think I knew he was like a drug addict and this is you know this is a guy you know I grew up watching his movies you know sure. and almost to the point well, weird way I almost felt like a fa almost family more so than like other actors I remember growing up watching like Hook and Jumanji and stuff like that and I just remember Go, coming home from school, and uh, you know, how did one, you hear about it? Actually, on the internet, okay. it was. Uh, I opened up a uh, browser. I want to say it was like Yahoo, and I just saw his picture post. I'm like, oh no, what did he do again? Oh. You know, because it was shortly after he had just gone back. I'm like, what happened? Mm -hmm. And she, and it said Robin Williams. You know, whenever he was born in 2014, I was like, he died. You know, it was shocking, and I remember like that kind of being in shock uh, about that. Oh, uh, like. The whole day, like yeah. I remember my mom coming home, and be like, "Mom, Robin Williams died," and she was like, "What?" You know, like this sense of disbelief, and I just remember like that whole day, just you know, never really, you know, there have been a lot of great like actors and whatnot that have died in my lifetime, and it was, but that was one that just hit. It made a it, difference. It did make right. a difference. It was weird. I then, like I said, there were a few other things I'd considered. I mean, I remember uh, George Bush's reelection in '04, which was like the first also election. not sports related. Right? Yeah, I figured, hey, switch it up, right? Uh, some more. Yeah, and uh, and also like Obama's election. I sure. remember, you know, when um, Osama bin Laden was killed. Watching ESPN, so actually that one's kind of sports related. But I think the one that I just for whatever reason it really stuck out for me was Robin Williams' death. Yeah, and just very good. knowing all the remembering all the weird little details of that day. So sure. Who would like to share either an earliest memory or a flashbulb memory? Um, I guess I can go. Please, Maddie. Thank I'm going to go on the earliest memory route uh -huh. instead. Um, it was like shortly after I had moved to Kirksville. Oh, wait, not Kirksville. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Go ahead. Missouri. And um, I had lived in Florida before then. And um, it was like just as it was starting to get cold and like my family really had never experienced like the cold, oh, let alone ice or snow or anything like <laughs> that. And so, like, my dad, like, was looking at the weather or the radar or whatever and saw that there was going to be a night that it was going to freeze. And so, like, whenever my brother and I went to sleep, he, like, turned on the hose and covered a bunch of stuff in water in the back, like, in the backyard. Okay. And then whenever we woke up, there was, like, a little, like, ice rink. And so, like, my brother and I just had, like, the best time, like, slipping and sliding on the ice. Yeah. And we just thought it was the coolest thing ever. And I remember, like, the trees, like, covered in, like, the icicles and everything. And it wasn't even that cold out because right. like, it was just, like, one of the first freezes. But I remember it being, like, the coolest thing ever. And I was thinking, like, the ice was literally magical. Like, I yeah. like, looked at it and, like, the sun hitting it and, like, shining and everything. I remember, like... The like light pink coat I was wearing with that was all fuzzy and stuff, but that's one of my like first like cemented memories and like our like first house here and like everything like I can just like see it like clear as day and like remember it. Yeah, I thought an ice storm was gonna be uh, like a, a scary memory, so I'm glad. That oh was no, a happy it was one. super positive. There was an ice. It was my dad like covering yeah. my garden with water, but yeah. So it's one of the first things I remember. And I think I was like like four or five uh -huh. like around that. It'll be 
age. So mm -hmm. very good. It's one of my first memories. Who'd like to go next? I mean, I sort of assumed everyone sure. would have like a traumatic memory just because of the nature of flashbulb. Yeah. <laughs> so mine's gonna be depressing. Uh oh. Good. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Basically, when I was still in Boy Scouts back in Austin, um, one of the adults, one of the scoutmasters, committed suicide. And I didn't know him well. He was, like, at most an acquaintance. Mm -hmm. But a bunch of the kids from the troop, including me, all went to his memorial service because the family and the church requested it. And the, the emotion that permeates all of those memories is just, like, secondhand shame for him, having his emotionality hmm. laid bare before all of these people that barely knew him. How old were you at the time, Zach? Probably like 13. 13, yeah. Mm. So more of a flashbulb memory then, obviously. Right. Mm. I, Did you guys dress up in your scouting uniforms or no? Yeah. Okay. Seems a little bit inappropriate. I don't know. Respect, but that's what they asked for, so. Sure, so that's mm -hmm. what you did. No, very good. I'll, uh, you can go. Okay. Mine isn't necessarily like traumatic, but it does have to do with pain. Okay. But non traumatic pain. Right. Well, yeah. Okay. I like of all of like my siblings and stuff, I was always the one to get hurt the most. Oh. And I never like broke a bone, but I definitely got a lot of stitches. Mm -hmm. And I think my earliest memory of getting stitches is we were playing like on our back deck with bubbles and it was bubbles were everywhere, so it was slippery. Mm -hmm. And we were we had the bubbles and like a ceramic bowl, but like there are good bowls, so of course it was the broken one that we were using. And so I was just running to like grab, like get my sibling with like bubbles or the hose or something. And I just like slipped and fell like straight on this broken like ceramic bowl. Oh boy. And I just remember like, <laughs> I remember my dad being on the phone with my mom because it was my dad home and not my mom. Okay. And so my mom was kind of like freaking out. And my dad was just like, I don't know what to do. And I just, I remember being in the hospital and like, of course it was on my bottom. So I was like, on, I just remember like. Well, that was going to be one of my questions. So I don't know that it was obvious. That it was yeah. Yeah. How you landed. And I, <laughs> and I just remember like laying down on like the hospital bed while they like were giving me stitches and like, I was like on the bed, like my head was here, my feet were here and up in the back corner here was Spongebob. And so <laughs> I remember just like, just focus on the Spongebob. And yeah. It still haunts me to this day, but well, everything's you know healed. What? Actually, I, we're gonna, I was going to eventually go next, but you know what? And I was going to talk about um, the Challenger exploding in 1986, but instead I'm going to talk about an early, my, one of my earliest memories was also hospital related. Uh, my mom went out with her friends, so my dad was supposed to watch us, and my brother threw a ball, and I fell, and I hit my head, and it, I, I, I put my hand to my head, and then I looked at my hand, and I saw there was blood on it, and I was like, oh my gosh! So my dad took me to the hospital, and they they took my shoes away, and I thought, no, I can't leave. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have shoes, and so that was that was upsetting and traumatic. But mm -hmm. Ashley, could you share either a flashbulb burn earliest? Memory? Yeah. So you see, I'm cycling between like ten because, quite frankly, I don't <laughs> have too many flashbulb memories. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's just because like I have a really bad memory or because like eventful things just don't happen. Okay. Um, but I'd say one of the one of the first ones that always comes to mind is the first um, move that I made mm -hmm. that like actually affected me. It's like growing up I was a military brat and I moved around. Like I never stayed in the same school district for longer than three years. So yeah, that makes it hard, obviously. Well, yeah. Not really. Like, I adapted really well uh -huh. to it when I was little. Like, I loved going to new places and being the new kid and reinventing myself and making new friends. Like, I was all about it. My brother, not so much. He was, he, he felt very sad about being the new kid all the oh. time. But, like, I was like, yes, a new move, a new change. Yeah. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Gotta go. You know? But, like, I realized, so, in my eighth grade year, I was living with my mom, and at the beginning of that year, she'd gotten out of the military, and mm -hmm. she was like, don't be afraid. Put down roots. We're going to stay here until you want to leave. There will be no moving. And I was like, huh, 
okay, I don't know how much different that'll be, but I'll try that, right? So I like made friends expecting to like keep them for many years and like see them for like the future. And I was really excited for high school because we were going to be going to the same one. And then three days before high school started, my mom had like severe financial trouble uh -huh. and basically had to give us up. So we went to go live with my dad who we were living in Ohio. Then we moved to Missouri. Oh, and sure. It was the school that I was moving to was very different from the school I was going to. I was going to go to a public school in Ohio and then I was going to a private all girls Catholic school that started hmm. two weeks ago in Missouri. And I was like, that would be, different. Ah! Yeah. but it was, I remember it really clearly because it was the first move that I ever like cried over or like felt upset about because it was the first move that I felt like I was losing something. And like, it was kind of like that moment of clarity where I realized, oh, this isn't just a part of my character. I don't love moving. Hmm. I've just always been prepared and ready to go at any moment. And like, I remember that because it's also stuck with me as like a moment of growth of like realizing something about myself that I didn't know previously. So that one's one of the ones that always comes to mind first. I also like started a journal like the day before I found out. It's like my <laughs> first ever diary was it's like, oh, I'm so excited. I've got a crush, blah, blah, blah. It's got like glitter. And Wait stuff. a minute. That's like three days before you left? Yeah. And oh, then the day no. after it's just like my first ever written curse word. Oh, it's still no. the next page. Wow. So I look back on that too, and so like along with the flash bulb, I also have the journal article to be like, ah, oh, I was so naive. <laughs> so one happy memory <laughs> and <five> traumatic ones. <laughs> so if you'd like to leave a comment, uh, some of the common things that people have are things like meeting your roommate for the first time, mm -hmm. or when a significant other has told you that they love you for the first time. Or, um, well, accidents are quite common, too. Mm -hmm. But I think we, we can leave it at that. Did anybody want to say anything else, though, about the concept of flashbulb memories? Comment when you first encountered suicide. Okay, oh. well, that would be... Question. Please. Can dreams be flashbulb memories? I, I don't know. If it is for you, then perhaps. Like vividly remembering a dream. I don't know. Maybe it's something for next time. <laughs> Perhaps. Well, let's leave it at that for this discussion. We'd like you to like, subscribe, subscribe, and comment. Comment. <laughs> Outstanding. And thank you for uh, watching our discussion. Bye. Okay. Very good. Thanks, guys. <laughs>